Okay, this is just kind of finishing finishing up what I was talking about on uh, software installation. Um, some software still comes as tarballs, and you get the tarball. You use the tar minus x to extract the tarball, and then you look down in the in what is left, and you'll probably have a file called a readme file that is spelled readme, usually in all capital letters, or maybe a file called install.txt, all in capital letters. And that will basically tell you what you have to do to install that software. That's an older way of installing software. It is still used. Um, and it installs software that it has really not been packaged for the particular distribution. Software that is packaged for the distribution will come as .debs or as RPMs, depending on whether you have a Debian-style distribution or a Red Hat um, or an RPM-style distribution. Um, the Nice thing about the RPMs and or the DEBs is that they handle all the dis dependencies for you very well. Well, pretty well. I've actually, the last couple of days, I've been buried in dis dependencies that SUSE was not handling correctly for a program called uh, GSCAN to PDF. Um, and I just haven't been able to get the dependency straight. But what the dependencies are is, you know, one piece of software nowadays will be built using, say, Perl, and it will use various libraries from what the Perl oh, library archive, something called C-SPAN. And that may use some C libraries and some um, other things, and you get this just st huge stack of dependencies where you need a huge amount of software to get any package to work. And uh, what the RPM is designed to do is to handle all those dependencies and handle where to go to get um, the various libraries and various programs that you need in order to get a package to run. And uh, and it does pretty well at them. In spite of my frustrations the last couple of days, it really, uh, both RPMs and DEBs do a really good job at that. Um, and um, they're one, and believe me, they are wonderful um, compared with anything we had before those. And that includes. Um, in most operating systems, the um, RPM really broke ground in terms of how to package software. And then the Debs kind of came later, I believe. Uh, a Debian person may dispute that, but, but, but I believe the RPM came first. And, and it just really broke ground in terms of handling these dis dependencies and all modern computer systems now use some um, something that looks like one of those, uh, like a package manager system. I should mention that there are other package manager systems using uh, that are in use. I believe SUS has been working on one that's gotten really favorable reviews. And um, RPMs or DEBs are not the last word in package managers. One of the difficulties with them is I, as a software developer, have really never put together an RPM or a DEB. And I noticed many of the um, soft, many of the groups, uh, the projects that have software, they will devote a specialist to package management, where they have a person or, or, or a couple people who basically just simply one of their functions with the project is to um, package their software in um, DEBs and RPMs so they can be easily installed. And in my mind, um, that's um, 
we shouldn't need this. Uh, it should be simpler to package them. It, it is very simple to use them, but it's still a little bit complex to build these packages. And um, you know, I hope to see that simpler in the future. Um, the other thing I will say about installing software is it seems to me like it's a lot easier to install software if you do do a little bit of programming. Um, because then you get more of a feel for what to do if, the, if you get into trouble and dependencies are broken and things of that type. Um, also, sometimes you'll end up running something called a make command, which will compile software for you. And if it doesn't compile right, then well, sometimes you have to be creative, and that means going in and modifying code. It's it's getting so we have to do that less and less, but um, it's still programming is a valuable skill, um, and um, and we're still a ways from from uh, uh, from everything being trouble free. Um, but then it wouldn't be fun if it wasn't. So. Um, so let's see. I'm looking through the rest of the chapter here. I, I think that's really um, that's everything I want to say. So bye bye.